So, I, uh, I made a movie. Stay tuned, I'm going to tell you all about it. Hello friends, welcome back to the show. So glad to see you all once again. And if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Now, yes, this video is going to be a little bit different than some of the other content that I've had. Right now, I'm on a bit of a break, a little bit of a hiatus uh, from the channel over the summer while I'm working on some other things. But I'm going to be back in full swing here in the fall. But in the meantime, I wanted to release a couple of videos talking about some other things that are going on or doing some other types of content. And this is one of them. As you can tell by the title, it's about a movie that I recently made. Actually, it wasn't that recent, but I'm I'm recently finishing it. In fact, I'm finishing it right now. Not right this second, but you'll get the point. So this story starts uh, three years ago, actually a little bit more than three years ago. This was actually this was back before I even started the YouTube channel. So it is the end of 2015, and I had just finished producing a live variety show for a local arts organization. That's the poster right over here. In foul or sunny weather, it's teamwork. We had just finished that. A lot of work, a lot of things uh, went into all of that. That was in like November. That was beginning of November. Finished that. And then I took some time off uh, around Christmas, around the holidays, just to kind of refresh. And while I was doing that, I, I pretty much had a clean slate of things. I was, that was the end of the, the year project. So with my free time, I thought, I'm going to get back to doing some writing. I hadn't really wrote anything in a, wrote anything creative in a while. And I had some time and I thought, I'm going to sit down and I'm just going to write uh, a screenplay and just just for the kicks of it. So the prompt I kind of gave myself was that I was going to write a short script for two characters in one location. Seemed like that was accomplishable. And I started that. And then over the course of the next couple of days, I finished this rough draft of a short movie. I think it was like 20 pages. And obviously, I mean, from that prompt, it kind of snowballed out into some different directions. I don't know, it wasn't an idea that I really had baking in my brain for, for too long, but it just kind of came. And it was actually a different kind of style than what I normally kind of gravitate towards when I create content, but it was sort of a mystery thriller type of story, a story, sort of a period piece. And I finished it and I was kind of proud of it. And I thought, wow, this actually turned out pretty well and, and didn't take me long to put together. And I gave it to my wife to read, Mary Beth, who is a fan of that genre, that mystery kind of thriller type of movies. And I said, hey, just read this. Let me know what you think. And actually, just to backtrack, Mary Beth wasn't even my wife at the time. We were just engaged. She read it and really liked it, like sincerely liked it. And after she finished reading it, the first thing she said to me is, when are you making this? And I said, oh, I'm not really planning on making it. I just finished a huge project with the Variety Show. White bread, a stare, and ginger, and twice as sleep. Really just wanted a little creative outlet uh, to, to write something, put it on paper. Maybe someday I'll make it. And she said, but it's really good. You really should think about making it. It seems accomplishable. It seems like it's able to be done. And she, and then she went into a couple other little notes, kind of detail things about it that, that might help improve it. So I then took the script and I gave it to my creative partner who I, I worked with on the variety show. We got a show, we got a show. And we partner together on a lot of different things. He, he also uh, is my producing partner on the TV show that we do, Entertainment Picks. And, and so we collaborate a lot of times. So I gave it to him. And said, let me know what you think of this. And, and truly, when I write, I always kind of write for people. And one of the characters I wrote kind of through my own voice. And the other character I wrote through Gary. I, I kind of channeled him or wrote the character around him. He kind of had the same reaction, which was, this is really good. Let's do it. Let's make it. At this point, I thought, okay, maybe there's something here. So I started... Give it to some other people, Martin Carlton, who I worked on some projects with. In fact, I was talking about him on the channel when I was talking about being in a movie. I met him on the set of Avengers. Galen Martin, another uh, a cinematographer that I've worked on with some different capacities on some different projects with, that kind of gave it out to them and said, let's, can we make this happen? And 
I was surprised things really started picking up some steam. And I found in my life, uh, in my creative journey of making different types of content and creating different things. I've got hundreds of ideas of projects and various stages of development at any, any given time. But the handful of projects that have actually come to fruition and actually have been completed are the ones that happen this way, where it just kind of comes out of nowhere. And when you give it to people or other people start getting involved, it just, it rolls. Anytime that there's a struggle to really get something off the ground, it's usually not worth it. And it usually falls apart. And then you usually go, oh, yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense when you look at it in hindsight. And then you have to really fight to kind of lift it up or you end up doing everything yourself. One of the two. But this one, like I got a little group of people around me that all got excited about it. And that obviously fuels me and obviously makes me more excited. Once me, it makes me want to continue and move this project forward. So we did. So this, so I wrote it, you know, honestly, like right before Christmas, the end of the end of December, in the next couple of months, January, February, March, we really had, you know, we rewrote the script a little bit and added and changed and, and worked through that, scouted locations, got a uh, a place to shoot it and and got the components got the rest of the crew put together and we're ready to shoot it. And i think we shot in may or june of 2016 and when you think about that like five months to go from i hey, maybe i'll write a movie a script and see how it turns out to oh we're getting ready to go on set and shoot this it's pretty incredible like i said just it was one of those things that just sort of came out of nowhere and happened so we shot it over the course of four nights, uh, you know, which which was the first error on my part because of the nature of the script and, and the location we had. We had to shoot it at night. What I thought we could accomplish in two nights actually ended up being four nights and then a couple other pickup shots that we had to get over another night. And so that was my first error, but we pulled this together. We, we shot it for all things considered. It was a pretty well run set. It was and everybody kind of knew their roles and, and we accomplished this task and it wasn't too complicated. It was it had a couple of different elements and, and production was relatively smooth other than the schedule getting doubled virtually. <laughs> we shot that and that was always the plan because I was getting married uh, the end of the summer i was getting married in august of 2016 so i thought well let me get this shot and get it ready to go we had an editor lined up so we got it shot met with the editor gave him the footage and uh when i came back from my honeymoon and, and got things settled in then i was planning on uh meeting back up with him and seeing where things are and and that leads us to why here we are three years later and i'm saying oh we're just now finishing it post-production was a huge challenge there was and i don't want to get into all the details of it but basically we just we lost our first editor uh due to some some other projects that came along for him and then i got busy with some other projects and all of us kind of started doing other things and and it just started slowly started kind of getting away from us and a couple of us were trying to edit it and put it together and pass it back and forth and then we gave it to this you know it was just sort of a post-production nightmare and just it was a scheduling thing. And then by that time, you know, the excitement of it was starting to wear off. And and then and it's not like we were working on it for three straight years. It was like we'd work on it for a month and then it'd get put away on the shelf for several months. And then we pick it up and dust it off. And then you have to kind of start over and go, wait, where were we? What were we trying to do? And so finally, like this year, I really made a commitment to get it finished, to put other things aside and really focus on trying to, to, to finish this up. And we did, we finished it. We got it completely. Um, it is, it is, I mean, there's a little bit at this phase that I'm recording this video, uh, there's still a little bit of polish that needs to be put on it, but, uh, we did cut a trailer, you know, just so we have something to kind of put out there and show to some people. So roll the trailer. Okay, that's not the whole trailer. 
I just wanted to give you a little tease for that. But if you want to see the whole trailer, uh, click the link. It's on my other YouTube channel, Stormy Night Studios, which is nothing fancy. It's just a, a title of a company that I came up with to, to produce this movie under and hopefully other projects. But I started their YouTube channel a couple of years ago, and there's really not a lot of content on there. So if you get a chance to you know, hop over there, watch the trailer there, because I'd like to get some views on that page and not spread it out too much. And, uh, and if you're so inclined, hit subscribe and, and maybe watch some of the other handful of videos that are on there. Show some love to that channel because I'm trying to boost that up. And really just in the long-term goals, like I really want to start producing other scripted content and have it exist on that YouTube channel and reserve this more for my personal content. Uh, but in either case, that's where the trailer is. Please go take a look at it. And I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to know what you think of the trailer because our next step now is we're going to have a little private screening for the cast and crew and everybody that put that together here, hopefully uh, in the next uh, few months and just get everybody together again and celebrate getting the movie done and showing it for all of them. And the plan was always once I finished the movie to, you know, just send it out to a couple of film festivals and just, just to see what they think of it and what they, uh, to see if we can get it into a film festival too. And, and certainly if we do, I will post updates about that to let you know. I'm not going to get carried away singing too much money into that to try to get it into film festivals, but certainly just throw it out to a couple key festivals and uh, local festivals around my area to see if I can get them in there. And, and then if it doesn't, or if it does, and after it does, then I'm planning on putting the whole movie up onto YouTube, unless for some miraculous reason, it ends up getting picked up by some other uh, outlet that it would be on there. But in the meantime, you can watch the trailer, check that out. Please let me know what you think of it. And uh, if you are at all excited or interested in seeing more, or if you want to see more content like that, then uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll focus on, on producing some more of that. But right now I have no immediate solid plans of, of another movie that, I, that uh, are, is in the works. Certainly I'd like to, and certainly I have a handful of ideas that I'd like to do, but uh, I don't know. It's just kind of a fun thing to do. And, and certainly this movie, I had a lot of fun doing, and it was a lot of work because I was in it and directing it and producing it. But uh, very rewarding, kind of fun that it started out as this little grain of like, hmm, let me uh, write a couple ideas now and see what we end up with to, oh, wow, we're on set making this movie. So check that out and uh, let me know what you think. And of course, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And this is your first video that you've seen here. We got some great content coming up. And like I said, here in a couple of months, I'm, I'm going to be kind of getting more full swing into some regular videos, changing some things up, not to scare any of you, but I'm going to be uh, shaking things up a little bit here on the channel, but it'll ma it make sense. I'll be talking more about that later on. But uh, in the meantime, uh, enjoy the trailer for The Stakeout. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Andy Canode. I'll see you soon.